Ten, finish, finish, finish. Living as a common enemy amongst countries in the Middle East, being Israel is undoubtedly not an easy task since the nation must constantly defend itself from numerous assaults. Consequently, Israel persistently enhances and renews its military capacity as the primary fang of protection. In the Israel Defense Force, there are three main divisions formed, the Army, Navy, and Air Force. Despite residing in the notoriously arid Middle East, Israel's Navy plays a crucial role because the country has maritime boundaries connected to the Mediterranean Sea. This sea is vital for Israel, as it provides a route for Turkey and Egypt to infiltrate Israel. Observing this fact, Israel ardently amplifies the military capacity of their navy. Indeed, it is intriguing to explore the full strength of Israel's naval forces. Regarding personnel capacity, the Israeli Navy currently boasts 19,500 personnel, where 9,500 are active duty members, and an additional 10,000 are reserve personnel. In executing military missions or operations, the Israeli Navy has often proven itself. For instance, in the recent conflict between Hamas and Israel, the Israeli Navy, through its elite Shayete 13 force, successfully captured Muhammad Abu Ghali, the deputy commander of Hamas's Southern Naval Division. From the involvement of Shayate 13, we can discern the firearms utilized by the Israeli Navy. Starting with the Glock pistol from Austria, which possesses an effective usage range of 50 meters, it is highly efficient as a secondary weapon. There are also various types of assault rifles used, such as the Sitar 21 Alaska, 47 X95 and M4 carbine. The M4 carbine stands out as the most advanced assault rifle because it has a maximum range of up to 2.24 miles and a firing rate of 970 rounds per minute. Furthermore, there is a light machine gun, the Israeli-made Uzi, which has a speed of 1,500 rounds per minute and a maximum range of 200 meters. This weapon is exceptionally efficient for the Navy, which frequently conducts military operations inside ships or in confined spaces. Then, to repel piracy actions, there are heavy machine guns like the Negev. This Israeli-made machine gun has a shooting range of up to 0.62 miles, with a firing rate of 1,100 rounds per minute. Next, there are snipers like the SR-25 and M24, with the latter being chosen as the superior due to its remarkable range of 2.73 miles and bullet speed of up to 2,592 feet per second. Lastly, there is the M203 grenade launcher, which is effective for conquering armored vehicles or military formation chains. From observing the firearms, it is apparent that the Israeli Navy is exceptionally well equipped. Additionally, Israel funds their military with a colossal budget, reaching 24.3 billion US dollars. With this budget, Israel can possess a series of sophisticated naval armaments. Submarines. One of the most scrutinized aspects of Israel's naval armaments is their submarines. From what is known, Israel utilizes one type of submarine, the Dolphin class, a collaborative creation between Israel and Germany. At least five Dolphin-class submarines are currently in active use. INS Dolphin, INS Leviathan, INS Tekuma, INS Tanin, and INS Rahav. In terms of capability, these diesel-electric-powered submarines can navigate at speeds of 25 knots, or approximately 29 miles per hour, with a maximum depth of approximately 1,148 feet and a maximum range of approximately 12,427 miles. Furthermore, these vessels can operate for 50 continuous days. With such sailing capabilities, the Dolphin class becomes a premier submarine conducting operations around the Mediterranean and Arabian seas. Additionally, discussing the weaponry employed, the Dolphin class utilizes two types of torpedoes, six units of 533mm torpedoes, and four units of 650 mm torpedoes. Among all the torpedo ammunition used, the Torpedo DM-24 is the most superior. 
capable of traveling at 50 knots or approximately 58 miles per hour, carrying a PBX-type warhead weighing approximately 573 pounds, effective for causing large explosions in conquering naval armaments. With its approximately 31-mile range, this torpedo clearly becomes a deadly weapon for Israel's submarines, surface ships. Besides submarines, Israel, of course, possesses surface warships. There are several types of surface ships currently active in the Israeli Navy. One example is the Corvette, a small warship. Israel employs two types of corvettes, three units of Sa'ar-5 and four units of Sa'ar-6, both of which are Israeli-made. Among them, Sa'ar-6 is the most modern in terms of sailing capability and armament. On paper, the Sa'ar-6, priced at 557 million US dollars, can sail at a speed of 26 knots or approximately 48 miles per hour, reach distances up to approximately 4,598 miles, and is capable of sailing for 30 consecutive days. In terms of weaponry, Sa'ar-6 is also quite comprehensive. This warship is armed with heavy machine guns like the Typhoon Weapon Station, and also the Oto Malara 76mm, which has a firing capability up to approximately 25 miles at a speed of 120 rounds per minute. Then, there is also a series of missiles that can be utilized. For surface-to-air missiles, there is Barak 8, which can target up to approximately 93 miles away, with a speed of approximately 2,300 miles per hour. And for anti-ship missiles, there is Gabriel V, which may only have a speed of approximately 522 miles per hour, but can target up to approximately 249 miles. Then, to protect against rocket and missile attacks, the Sa'ar-6 astonishingly carries the Sea Dome, which is a rocket launcher usually used in the Iron Dome, Israel's highly praised defense system. In addition to utilizing corvettes, the Israeli Navy also deploys Sa'ar 4.5 missile boats, totaling 10 units. As the name suggests, the missile launching ship used is a more outdated version than the corvettes previously discussed, making it understandable if Israel's line of missile boats is considered to be antiquated. Then there is also the line of patrol ships. Here, Israel employs various types of patrol ships. One of the best is the Rafael Protector, an advanced unmanned armament developed by Israel. The Rafael Protector has various roles in conducting military operations, ranging from interception and target identification to assault. The use of unmanned ships like the Rafael Protector is viewed as the new future for navies worldwide. In addition to utilizing naval-based weaponry like submarines and surface ships, the Israeli Navy also employs several aerial armaments, starting with helicopters such as the Eurocopter A's 565 Panther, which is used for various tasks, such as rescue missions to conducting attacks. Then, there is also the use of drones like the Orbiter, which is used for reconnaissance missions. Future Prospects After discussing many aspects of the strength of the Israeli Navy, it is only natural that Israel stands as one of the strongest military forces in the Middle East. Moving forward, this status seems likely to be maintained by Israel because their navy already has long-term plans for the future. Examples include the addition of five submarine units, among which are two units of Dolphin-class submarines and three units of Dakar-class submarines. The Dakar class is a submarine newly developed by Israel, slated for release in 2031. Now there are many speculations about this submarine, which might possibly carry nuclear warhead weapons like Russia's Status 6 and the United States Mark 8. When this submarine is launched, will Israel admit to possessing nuclear weapons? Or will they remain as they are now, where Israel chooses not to provide a definitive response?